carpet is in almost every single home in the United States. Being such a popular product, there's a lot of different styles. Today, we're gonna go through those with you so you can make sure when you buy, you pick the right one for your home. Hi, my name is Vinny Verga, and I'm here today with Floors Uncovered. Last week, we talked about different types of carpet fiber. And today, we're gonna talk about the different ways that those fibers are constructed into a roll, which creates different styles of carpet. In this video, we're gonna talk about three different types of carpet construction. Cut pile, loop pile, and loop cut loop, or LCL carpets. When it comes to cut pile carpets, when we reference the pile, we're referencing the height of the fibers themselves. So you might have something like a shag, where the fibers are very tall, but not particularly tight on the carpet, or something a little bit more tight and compact, like a um, barber pole, where the fibers are twisted together. There's various different piles. So let's take a look at a couple of different types of cut pile. The most common name for cut pile is plush. And a plush carpet is exactly as you imagine. It's the carpet that probably is in your living room. It's got a nice pile to it. It feels soft. And as you walk on it, the pile actually crumples and the direction of the traffic, which you can, when you vacuum, take that and restore it somewhat to its natural state. In addition, there's something called twist, or you might have heard the name barber pole carpet. And it's called that because they take two plush fibers and they wrap one around the other, thus creating that look kind of like a barber pole. And so those wrapped fibers, one adds strength to the carpet, so it's a little bit more durable, but it also adds a distinct two-tone look to the carpet. Another type of cut pile carpet would be a shag carpet, although that's not very common today. It was common back in the 80s. Shag has a very long, loose pile, um, which makes it very soft, and it definitely has a very distinct look. Next, we have loop pile. Um, loop pile is where the actual fibers themselves are looped, and they actually create a loop that you could, if you took your nail and you had a long nail, run in and snag on that. In fact, with pets like cats and dogs, Loop can be a challenge because they can actually get their claws caught into the fiber, so it's not the best if you have pets. Loop pile carpets are like Berbers. Um, Berbers are very common for basements or areas where there's a lot of foot traffic. Because they're a loop, they can't be crushed down when someone walks on them, so they don't show where your movement's been in a room. And then there's the best of both worlds, loop cut loop where a cut pile is not great for traffic because it shows everything and a loop pile is, again, you're getting somewhere in between the best of both worlds. This makes loop cut loop soft while also being durable to foot traffic and a really good choice. In fact, they make them often in patterns with diamonds or um, other shapes and that really makes them attractive from a design perspective as well. Loop Cut Loop is a little bit more of an investment than a typical plush or Berber, depending on which one you're looking at, but they tend to be really good performing carpets. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like, and while you're down there, comment what style of carpet you have in your home. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. We release a new video every week.